This is an interesting picture of some genes for a variety of cardiometabolic health issues from obesity to dyslipidemia, which are cholesterol disorders, to hypertension, high blood pressure, to smoking, because even smoking can be controlled. Addictive behavior can be inherited uh, to other risk factors and finally to diabetes. If you look where the red heart in the middle is and you look to the right, the first thing that's there is APOE. APOE is another gene that you can order on a blood panel at all the big lab providers. Um, you can get it from uh, mom and dad. You always do. And there's three versions, APOE2, APOE3, APOE4. Turns out APOE4 is not an ideal thing to inherit from mom and dad. And sometimes you get it from just one parent. That's called heterozygous. And sometimes you get it from both parents. That's called homozygous. If you look at this green boxes way to the right, if you're one of the about 5% of people in the United States that inherits APOE4, your brain has a hard time handling cholesterol metabolism, particularly if you get it from both parents called E4, E4. And it raises your risk, not just of heart attack and clogged arteries, but it also raises your risk of Alzheimer's. And if you look at here, the lifetime risk of Alzheimer's can be over 50% if you have the genetic inheritance E4, E4, Versus, for example, the most common one is E3, E3, way to the left, where the lifetime risk of Alzheimer's is more about 8%. So which would you rather have, 8% or over 50%? This is another target that might be available in the future using CRISPR technology to um, delete the gene and bring the risk back to normal. How about heavy metals? And although I like Metallica music, I'm talking about toxins that we don't make, but we can get in our body through the environment, arsenic, cadmium, lead, and mercury. There's different ways to measure heavy bottles, heavy metals in the body, but the easiest way is blood. Hair is another way. Urine is a third way. And even a simple screen. I wonder how in the last week, my lifestyle exposed me to these three or four heavy metals, particularly mercury, can be very revealing. In my clinic, we do this with blood and about 10% of people are sky high on mercury. And um, we have to talk to them about their tuna intake, their other fish intake, the health of their dental status. Um, and we have to deal with that. So um, it's something that you can ask for and make sure. I rarely see in my vegan population elevated levels, although sometimes arsenic is hidden in rice, and sometimes your water pipes in your house could be shedding lead into your body, so it's always possible. A new blood panel has come on the market. I'm not an investor, so I can talk about it without conflict. It's called Gallery. It's launched. It's in my clinic. We use it. It's one blood draw, two tubes of blood that screens for 50 kinds of cancer not the genetic risk, but a pattern in the DNA that suggests you actually have this cancer. It's about 44% accurate. Um, so if it comes back abnormal, we're not absolutely going to find a kidney cancer, a bladder cancer, an ovarian cancer. Most of these cancers, there's no other way to look for them. So a lot of these are unique. You still get your mammogram or thermogram. You still do your colonoscopy or you do your Cologuard, you still get your prostate screening, but uh, it is a new technology. Uh, I'm glad to say I did mine and I'm negative. Uh, my wife too, for all 50, we still do our screening. We still have our lifestyle. It's an expensive blood test. It's around $1,000. Uh, a couple last comments and I'm gonna shift, but one area of future research is to do an MRI scan without contrast of your whole body they do this in various clinics. I've had this done on me in clinics that do this routinely. It's expensive, sorry. It's about 3% of people find something they didn't know about, a small tumor, a small aneurysm, a small growth, and they can be on top of this early. By not injecting contrast, there's very little downside. 
And finally, you can quantify the volume of your brain. This is brand new technology out of Finland using artificial intelligence. I actually had this done yesterday. It uses non-contrast MRI. I'll be sending my data over to Finland to be analyzed and predict the brain age compared to my biologic age. So it's not just artery age now. These are new and cutting edge. The company from Finland, which I'm not an investor in, is called Combinastics. And finally, a study you can do at home for sleep problems. It used to be a big deal to get a sleep study in a clinic, in an office building, in a hospital. Now this is an Israeli device I use in my clinic called WatchPat One. Uh, you can reach out to me, we can tell you how you get one. But one night sleep at home and you're comfortable bad, you find out if you have sleep apnea or not. And a lot of people do and they age because of it.